Recharging the conditioning on the Karma Fisker is no fun because I can't get my clamps anywhere. I cannot even get my fingertips and I can't touch a single line. The lines, these are just extension lines coming up for the service ports. The actual lines that you would want to touch to see if something was hot or cold or do any measurements are all located buried. You cannot physically get a human hand down anywhere to touch anything except off the secondary expansion valve up in the front of the car that goes to the plate heat exchanger for the glycol loop for chilling off the hybrid battery. Uh, that's the only one you could only touch those two lines and that's it. Other than that, if you think you're going to do diagnosing by touching uh, with your experience, not happening on this car. That's it. This is a short one that I just did the recovery from the other day. Uh, they fixed what they needed to fix on the condenser and uh, just getting it back up. It's running right now. As you can see, pay attention to nothing else because I have no temperature sensors hooked up anywhere. Uh, it's just literally pressures. And that is all it is. This is it's running. And the power steering pump runs like a banshee all the time, man. That thing is cooking in there. It looks like a little jacuzzi sauna thing with the power steering fluid. You hear the power steering pump louder than you do the electric uh, AC compressor. All right, guys. See ya.